Good afternoon, and thank you to the Prevent Cancer Foundation for the opportunity to talk with you today about the Cancer Moonshot. It's an honor. My name is Katherine Coonrod, and I'm a Senior Advisor for Cancer Moonshot Policy Coordination in the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, or OSTP. OSTP is the home of the Cancer Moonshot, and its mission includes providing advice to the president and the executive office of the president on matters related to science and technology, strengthening and advancing American science and technology, working with federal departments and agencies, and with Congress to create bold visions, unified strategies, clear plans, wise policies, and effective equitable programs for science and technology, engaging with external partners, including industry, academia, philanthropic, philanthropic organizations and civil society, state, local, tribal and territorial governments and other nations and ensuring equity, inclusion and integrity in all aspects of science and technology. As vice president in 2016, Joe Biden launched the Cancer Moonshot with the mission to accelerate the rate of progress against cancer. Last year, the president and first lady reignited the White House Cancer Moonshot to mobilize a national effort to end cancer as we know it. By bringing the federal government, healthcare providers, researchers, patients, caregivers, advocates, and the public and private sectors together, the Cancer Moonshot is dramatically accelerating progress in the fight against cancer. We are mobilizing effort toward achieving two clear goals that the President and First Lady set. The first goal is to reduce the death rate from cancer by at least 50% over the next 25 years, which translates to preventing more than 4 million cancer deaths by 2047. And the second is to improve the experience of people who are touched by cancer. The president set up the first ever cancer cabinet to mobilize the federal government and called on individuals, healthcare providers, and leaders across sectors to step up and take action in five key priority areas. First, make sure everyone has access to cancer screenings so more Americans can catch cancer early when outcomes are best. Second, understand and prevent exposures to toxins like forever chemicals and air pollution, which we know can cause cancer. Third, prevent more cancers before they start by reducing tobacco use, making sure everyone has access to healthy food, and getting more people vaccinated against HPV, which causes some cancers. Fourth, deliver the latest innovations to patients and communities so that all families benefit from breakthrough advances to prevent, detect, treat, and survive cancer. And fifth, support and center patients and caregivers by helping them navigate the many decisions associated with a diagnosis, providing patients easy access to their health information, and driving action to lower drug costs. Within each of these priority areas, the Cancer Moonshot is working to deliver new ways to prevent, detect, and treat cancer, and to ensure that the tools we have and those we develop along the way equitably reach all Americans. For example, to make sure everyone has access to cancer screenings, we're working to reduce disparities in screening access, including through bringing screening closer to communities support the development of additional, less invasive cancer screening tools, and prepare the healthcare system for multi-cancer early detection. Similarly, to decrease the impa impact of preventable cancers, we are working to reduce HPV-driven cancers through increased vaccination and screening, decrease tobacco-related cancers through smoking cessation services, and understand and drive change to impact the relationship between nutrition and cancer. The Cancer Moonshot builds on decades of bipartisan support, public health progress, and scientific advances around cancer. We've made tremendous progress against tobacco use through targeted public health education campaigns, as well as new, more effective approaches to smoking cessation. We've seen a 50% decrease in adult long-term cigarette smoking and a 68% drop in smoking rates among youth since the early 1990s. However, smoking remains the biggest single driver of cancer deaths in this country. The Biden-Harris administration is preparing further action to help people avoid smoking in the first place and to support Americans who want to quit. These steps could prevent as much as 30% of cancer deaths in this country, saving up to 130,000 American lives annually. 
While we have made progress, tobacco products still hook too many people at an early age and take control away from individual Americans to make the decision not to smoke. We are working to put that control back in the hands of Americans. Earlier this month, we hosted a White House Cancer Moonshot Smoking Cessation Forum to bring together U.S. government officials, community and patient advocates, private sector leaders, researchers, healthcare providers, and public health workers. During the forum, the Department of Health and Human Services, or HHS, announced that they are building out new smoking cessation efforts with a central focus on advancing equity. These strategic actions will advance the goals of the Cancer Moonshot. This summer, HHS will be gathering feedback from the public on their proposed efforts through a formal request for information through which we invite you to share your perspectives to help guide this work. In terms of early detection, we know that millions of Americans missed screenings during the pandemic. We are working to make up those missed screenings and to increase access to screenings with a focus on reducing disparities. In February, the Health Resources Services Administration, or HRSA, announced $10 million in new awards to improve access to life-saving cancer screenings, including patient navigation support services, for federally qualified health centers in partnership with NCI designated cancer centers. Notable nonprofit and private sector organizations have stepped up too. For example, the National Minority Quality Forum is launching local community-based activities to increase cancer screenings in at-risk communities. The Association of Community Cancer Centers and AstraZeneca joined efforts to create the Rural Appalachian Lung Cancer Screening Initiative to develop and implement person-centered and sustainable approaches to increase lung cancer screening in rural America. Siemens Health and Ears is working to increase breast cancer screening through mobile mammography to reduce disparities in underserved regions of Pennsylvania and North Carolina. And the Prevent Cancer Foundation launched the Early Detection Equals Better Outcomes campaign to improve knowledge and completion of recommended cancer screenings. We know we cannot achieve the goals of the cancer moonshot without a strong focus on prevention and early detection. And while we work to equitably increase access to evidence-based prevention and early detection methods that we have today, we are simultaneously supporting innovation. To deliver innovation to patients and communities, we are working to drive bold progress through the, the, excuse me, the new Advanced Research Projects Administration for Health, or ARPA-H, working to support a robust pipeline of early treatment vaccines and precision medicine approaches, enable patients with the right and ability to contribute their data to research and integrate patient reported outcomes in real world evidence and reauthorize the National Cancer Act to bring America's cancer research system into the 21st century. More specifically, the administration is urging Congress to reauthorize the National Cancer Act, which 52 years ago set up the National Cancer Institute in its current form. The reauthorization will update the nation's cancer research and care systems to put modern American innovation fully to work to end cancer as we know it. This includes standing up clinical trial networks, creating new data systems that break down silos, and ensuring that knowledge gained through research is available to as many experts as possible so we can find answers faster and make a difference for patients. Working with Congress, we can also lock in the strong investment in cancer research that passed in 2016 as part of the broadly bipartisan 21st Century Cures Act, which otherwise expires this year. In addition, during his first State of the Union address, President Biden cited the recent announcement of his plan to supercharge the cancer moonshot and called on Congress to fund ARPA-H to drive breakthroughs in cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and other diseases. Since that time, the President and Congress have stepped up together to provide ARPA-H $2.5 billion in initial investment. Another example of supporting innovation is the Department of Health and Human Services launching the Cancer X National Innovation Accelerator Initiative, a government-wide effort to develop tools such as digital solutions to improve cancer patient care coordination and communication, new software technology to help community organizations meet cancer patients where they are, or new platforms to support patients with their post-treatment care. 
This new public-private partnership will drive support for and accelerate the development of biotech and health tech startups solutions focused on the continuum of cancer care, including prevention, detection, treatment, and transitions in care. Organizations whose missions are aligned with the Cancer Moonshot goals will work together to surface innovative solutions and coordinate access to research, mentorship, resources, and other collaborative opportunities. This work will help startups scale their business and work toward creating challenge-focused solutions for cancer with health equity in mind. Today, we know cancer as a disease in which we don't learn from the experiences of most patients. We can turn our cancer prevention and care system into a learning system. When asked, most people with cancer are glad to make their data available for research to help future patients if it can be done easily while respecting their privacy. Additionally, the diverse personal experiences of patients and their families make their input essential to developing approaches to end cancer as we know it. This is a central focus as we work to make our data and innovation systems work for all Americans to prevent, detect, and treat cancer. We have made substantial progress to lower the cancer death rate, which is down 33% since its peak in 1991. So much of this progress is due to better prevention and early detection. In order to build on this progress to prevent more than 4 million cancer deaths by 2047, and to improve the experiences of patients, families, and caregivers facing cancer, we need to continue to equitably improve access to the tools and methods we know work today for cancer prevention and early detection. And we need to continue to support innovation to bring these tools closer to people in their own communities in ways that work for more diverse populations who bear disproportionate burdens of cancer. We would love to hear your ideas on how the Cancer Moonshot can improve cancer prevention and early detection in your work and in your communities. You can share your stories and ideas for action at whitehouse.gov slash cancer moonshot. Again, that's whitehouse.gov slash cancer moonshot. We hope to hear from you. And thank you so much for your time this afternoon and for your important work to prevent, detect, and treat cancer.